There's a saying, stay away from negative people. They have a problem for every solution. This is not true for all situations, just like everything in life, you will need to apply some common sense. But what the quote points to is that you should always limit your time with people that continually drain your energy and add no value to your life. Negative people are usually very committed to being negative. And the more you push them to be anything else, the more they will push back. This doesn't mean you show no compassion towards others. Live with compassion. Live with empathy. Put yourself in others' shoes. Sure, do all that as a standard practice of being a decent human being, but keep your life free from the drama and negativity that is not who you are. If your attempts to lift someone out of negativity are unsuccessful, you have to move on. They will get to a better place when they're ready to get to a better place. And no one will get there if they're not ready, whether they are pushed or not. There are no accidents. Everyone comes into your life for a reason, a lesson, or a blessing. Will Smith once said, don't chase people. Be yourself. Do your own thing and work hard. The right people, the ones who really belong in your life, will come to you and stay. I can't give any better advice than that. The people in your life should be reducing your stress, not causing more of it. If you consider yourself to be a positive person and want to live your best life, surround yourself with positive people. Surround yourself with people that make you feel good about being yourself. Surround yourself with people that see the good in the world. By doing so, you will see more good too. You will attract more good. Don't let them drain your energy. Energy doesn't discriminate. Just like weightlifting. If you focus on getting one body part stronger and you put all your energy, focus, and effort on that muscle group, working on it every day, that muscle will get stronger. If you put all your energy into negative people, your life will be negative. If your attention is on what is wrong with your life, if your attention and energy is on the negative people and the negativity they bring, that will invade your life. Do not let them suck your energy. Keep your focus on what is good and you will see more good. More good will grow just like a muscle. The same is true on the opposite side. They say, if you lie down with dogs, you'll get up with fleas. If you lie down with negativity, you'll be consumed with negativity. You are what you eat, and you are who you spend your time with by choice. What you consume will consume you. Your friends and peer group are a great reflection of you because you chose them. Choose wisely. Say thank you. To all the toxic people in your life. Why say thank you? If they didn't appreciate you, they taught you how you must not be treated. And they taught you how not to treat others. If they let you go, they showed you how to move on. They showed you that you are more than a relationship. You, at the deepest level, are not you plus someone else. You are you. Your soul is not owned or attached to another. If they made you feel unworthy, if they took the life out of you for a moment, they showed you that no one can ever take all the life from you long term. They gave you strength and character. They expanded your heart. If they were racist, they gave you more compassion towards all races and showed you a clear example of how not to treat people who simply look different than you. If they were unkind, through their example of what comes to unkind people and the lack of love they had in their life, they showed you what not to do and gave you two great gifts, kindness and compassion. Whatever they did to you, don't let it stop you from being you, from loving and living life fully. Don't let one person or two or three stop you from becoming your greatest self. You're more than one event. You're more than one person. Use whatever happened to your advantage. Don't let them win by holding on. 
Let their toxic energy stay with them and release it from your life. Say thank you. Thank you for the lessons. Thank you for the blessings. And thank you for the strength to move on, to let them go for good. I am grateful for all those difficult people. They have shown me exactly who I do not want to be. I am grateful for every single person who has come into my life, every person who has shaped my life. Those who came to teach lessons and those who are real blessings. They were all as important as each other as they all shaped who I am today. Now I am wise enough to decide who will stay and who I must distance myself from, who adds value and who takes it away. And lastly, ask yourself honestly what kind of person you are to those around you. Are you lifting them up or draining their energy? Are you adding value to their life or making it worse? Remember, you cannot have a positive life with a negative mindset.